Hello, in this exercise today we're going to be going over one of the objectives for the RHCE which is connecting a um, Red Hat server um, to um, using LDAP and Kerberos. For mine I'm going to be connecting up to my IPA server which I have set up. So the first thing we want to do though is verify connectivity. That shows that we're able to ping the IPA server, so that's good to start with. Now um, we want to make sure we're going to use SSSD, so um, one good way of doing that is just to do yum groups install directory client. All right, now that that's installed, um, we're going to make a directory for our CA cert. So we're going to do make directory, etc. Open LDAP CA cert. Then we're going to copy over our certificate from our IPA server. So we'll do SAP um, rel lab. The root user.com IPA CA cert, and we're going to put it in the directory we just created. Say yes, put in our password, and the CA cert is copied. Next, we want to verify a couple of settings in our auth config file. So we'll do vim, etc. sysconfig auth config. So force legacy set to no. That's good. We want to also use SSD, which is right here. It's set to yes, and use SSD auth which is currently set to no. So let's change that to yes and write and quit. All right, so now we're going to run our auth config dash two E to configure LDAP. So we're going to select cache information and use LDAP and then over here use LDAP authentication. Go over here, hit next. All right, so It wants me to install the NSCD package. So let's just open up another one. There we go. Yeah, I'm install. Yes. Okay. Okay, we're going to use TLS. And our server is rel lab 10 the root user.com tc equals rel lab comma dc equals dn comma dc equals the root user dot com <laughs> actually I'm doing that wrong haha <laughs> 
There we go. <laughs> DC equals com. Details, details. All right, that'll finish through its configuration. Then we could verify it by just doing cat, et cetera, SSD. And it looks like everything is good. So now we'll test it. We'll just SU over to, we could, um, we could see that there's no users. We're gonna, Use Evan Winden as my test user. You see, he's not on the local account. So now we're going to SU to Evan Winden. And it connects right up. We see that um, it's unable to change directory to the home directory, but that's just because we do not have auto mapping set up at this moment. And we can run the ID command. And it does show that we are connected as Evan Winden. So now what we could do, we're gonna exit out of there, go back to root. Now we could set up Kerberos. So we're going to need a couple of more um, packages. So we're gonna do a yum install pam krb5 and KRB5 workstation. Say yes. Do, 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 do. Okay, that all looks good. So now we can do auth config dash two again. And we're going to go over here and we're going to use Kerberos. Okay, next. What does it want this time? Um, file was not found. It wants to install the nss-pam-ldapd package. So let's go over there and do that. Yum, install. And this is dash pam dash ldap d. Say yes. And this is helpful because if you do, are you if you are missing a package, this program will tell you what you're missing, and then you can go and get it installed, and you won't have any issues. Just make sure you do it before you continue on. All right, so that's installed, so we can hit OK. This is already filled out from the last time, so we could just hit Next. For this, we're going to use our DNS, since that's set up with IPA. Otherwise, you could fill it all in. Um, but we have DNS for that, so let's have it be put to use. Hit OK. It's going to do its configuration. So once that is done, then we can do k init admin. And it shows my, um, um, my ticket. And we can do k init Evan Winden. Wants a new password. And we get the ticket for Evan Winden. So this shows that um, Kerberos authentication is now working correctly and we are all set up. 
we can also um, we also have the option of it actually installing the IPA client, but as that is not um, one of the RHCE objectives, um, we don't have to go that far into detail. On a later um, um, tutorial, I'll show how to actually install the IPA client um, to connect up to an IPA server. Um, other than that, um, that's it for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you on the next one.